Hello and welcome to another Pods Heal Heals 2020 video. Now in previous videos I've talked a little bit about the number of different diagnoses for heel pain and a little bit about what plantar fasciitis is, but what are your risk factors for developing heel pain? Well commonly it will present between the ages of 40 to 60 unless you're younger and have something called severs or calcaneal apophysitis um, that is seen in kind of young teenagers. And unfortunately, ladies, we are more prone to getting it. Could be for a number of reasons. It could be um, that we are on our feet more. It could be hormonal changes, um, but it is known that women are more likely than men to get it. And weight does play an issue. If you are carrying more weight, that weight has to go through your feet as well and can lead to problems with heel pain. Over-exercising, especially this time of year, New year, new you, you start running, start taking up sports that you haven't done for a long time and effectively create an overuse injury. Your body has not had time to adapt to the level of activity you're putting through it. Footwear is also a major contributing factor to heel pain. A lot of people wear inappropriate footwear for the task that they're doing. And this can be any sports footwear. There is a reason there is specific types of shoes for specific sports. For example, you don't want to wear road running trainers on a trail run. You will not be secure. You can get injured. And foot structure can cause an issue as well. Um, it can change your gait, your biomechanics. And also if you have weak foot muscles, the arch of your foot isn't being supported, a lot of strain and stress will go through the heel itself. And we do know that having tight calf muscles and tight hamstrings can actually be a big contributor in particular plantar fasciitis cases. So there are a number of reasons why you might be developing foot pain and heel pain and foot problems. Um, we do know that heel pain tends to be a multifactorial issue, especially plantar fasciitis. And what that means is there's no one real cause for it. It tends to be a combination of lots of different things that are coming together to create your heel pain. So a treatment plan is usually um, involved around addressing many of those issues to get you functioning and get rid of your heel pain. If you have any comments or questions on this video, feel free to pop them in the comments below or message me directly and keep an eye on my feed because there will be more videos coming.